Yo, yo, my sovereigns, what up? This is Boba Fett, uncensored on the internet, with episode 114 of Splinterlands 101. This is another behind the avatar edition of who is that person behind the avatar? So you get to learn tonight about Killer Dragon 24. Joining on the show, as usual, the co-hosts, finest gentleman who ever lived, Matt Clark. Howdy, howdy. And the man behind the Pufe Pousse, Geotrix. How are we, gents? Hey, welcome. And Matt, you invited tonight's guest on the show, so why don't you do the introductions, especially as you know him? I did, yes. I've had the pleasure of meeting uh, Killer Dragon a couple of times now, uh, several times at, at different uh, meetups, so uh, here in Adelaide. Uh, he's a talented player with a real mind for the game. Um, I'd say a, a far better strategic mind than mine. Uh, I always learn something every time I talk to him. Uh, he's um, uh, really been engaged for quite a while, probably at least over a year now. Uh, and, yeah, I've just been really excited to have him on. Um, so, Killer Dragon, uh, tell us about yourself, mate. Yep. Um so I'm 20 a five. Um, yeah, I quite like to um, play a games. Um, yeah, I just enjoy how'd you get, in, how'd you get into it? How'd you get into like Splinterlands and like, what brought you here? Like how'd you meet Matt? you know like yeah. Um, so cool. one of Matt's, um, childhood uh, friends, um, I, uh, know, and we were talking one day, um, and yeah, I forgot like how it uh, came up, but I think he uh, said that like, yeah, Matt was like a uh, playing like a, a game in that. And oh, yeah. so, yeah, I just, um. Did a bit of a, a research and all that, and yeah, then I bought the a, a spell book, and yeah, then I just got hook, um hooked. Hooked, yeah. That's a, that's how it happened. I think with most of us are. Yeah, <laughs> just buy a spell book, buy a few packs. You know, yep. I'm like, all right, let, let's play, and then you just. Yeah, it's just like you find as you play, there's just more to unpack. And it's like, ah, this isn't just a simple game as as it looks from the outside. But when you peer in and really look in, you know, there's there's a lot to unpack. Yep. Yeah, so I totally get it. And so this, we this, must be, this must we be a first. A Sorry, guys. We were sitting at a meetup <laughs> one night and um, he just said, oh, what's a good card to like buy lots of, like what you've done, Matt, with flesh columns? And we had a look. And then by pretty much the end of that sentence, by the end of that that little brief foray, he'd how many how many pelical bandits did you end up buying? Uh let's have a look how many max I've got. <laughs> if you don't know I've, how many max you got, that's a lot. <laughs> I've got one hundred and thirty-three. Wow. And that's at 400 BCX for a max copy. So 400 yep. times 133. Is... I need a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> we go. And did you scoop all of these up when they were like one cent? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's going to be a decision that you uh, will benefit from. Uh, 53,200 BCX. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, it's a... That's a lot. Wow, that is a lot. Yeah. Got any gold foils, or have you just gone for the, with the regulars? Um, I think I've got uh three or four a, a max. Yeah. Nice. It's more than one. You, you were saying the other day uh, you maxed out a Lux Vega, was it? Yes. I still don't have a Lux Vega. Oh, that's interesting. So did you go for Lux Vega knowing that 
Uh, so you'd rather put your money in Lux Vega knowing that you would need less of the other summoners. So it's just more like a cost effective, but like a good way to really utilize all your cards. Is, is that yep. is the reason? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I know someone the same who did the exact same thing. Smart. Who was that? Um, Hack and Huck. Ah, of course. Yeah, he did the same thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, you know what? I could just get this one card. And it's just like a Kalia on crack and it can just play, <laughs> you know, yeah, it is. It could just play all, everything. It's like, you know, it's not the love. <laughs> and we have a, a first on this. This is the first time on the show. We've actually had a guest younger than Geo. Hey, I'm getting old now, bro. What are you <laughs> you're talking getting about? Old, now? Geo. You're getting old. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're, no long, you're no longer the baby of the show. <laughs> nope, the reality is really settling in, guys. It's, uh, <laughs> it's not getting easier. Let me tell. <laughs> no, it's all good. So we've we've got just uh, under an hour here. I think we should fill the show uh, with goss about Matt when he was a child, especially his school days. Uh, Kelly doesn't know me from then. Our mutual friend knows me from then. So uh, nice try. <laughs> He's only okay. 25, Bob. Like, uh, of course, you would yeah. have been. You would have yeah. been like what in the in the womb when Matt was going to school, <laughs> right? But... <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I, I missed that piece of the puzzle, and and my math clearly didn't kick in. Yeah. Tell us, uh, Killer Dragon, what is the what's your favourite splinter, and what's the best splinter? Oh. My favourite. What up? Let's have a look. Um, <laughs> Matt's about to bust a gut here, waiting for Earth to come out. Yeah, so, he's gonna. Yeah. So, the most recent one I got. Um, I haven't played yet, but I'd say it would be. Up there, uh, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Uh, Waka Spirit Blade. Waka. Oh Waka. yeah, yeah. You've got that as well. I don't. Yep. I don't even have one of. I don't even Bro, have a Waka. I didn't know how heavily in you were with some <laughs> of these cards that no one really, you know, not many have. These are specialty yep. promos you got, man. Like this yeah. is yeah, this is next level. Yep. Well the. <laughs> I'm trying to max out, max out the um ca a chaos um set. a set, mm. and the only ones I need is a max a fern heart and a max Ilthane. Wow! So Gross. when I hear people talk about maxing the chaos legion set, it's it's only core like the core set, but you're going for like the set of sets within chaos legion, like. Uh, yep. the Provos, the... <laughs> okay, yep. like, uh, the, the mini sets. That... Oh, wow. All right. Yeah. Yep. So I'm going to uh, for the Chaos set first. Then I'm going to work my way to Untamed. Ooh. And then Beta. Right. So wow. you're playing in Wild then, obviously. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. I actually think Ilfane is going to be my next summoner. Uh, every time the rule set comes up with ranged yeah. only, uh, I've got an Ilfane on my bronze account. Um, yep. So maybe I should at least get him, uh, bump him up a bit and put him into my silver account, if, if not my gold account. Because um, I, I do like him. He's like Bob, so your, many gold uses. Account, your gold account is now a diamond account. Account. What are you talking about? My gold account <laughs> is now playing in champ. There and you my, go. My silver <laughs> account is playing in diamond. Um, I don't like this uh, automatic <laughs> advancement. I don't like it. I'm getting punished <laughs> with chests. <laughs> so, yeah, it's uh. Stacking all those stacking all those bandits then, Killer. Um, would you say that water is Geo wants you to say water? I'm think I'm leaning towards Earth. I because Earth is obviously the best. Um, where are you at with that? Who's your who's your go which 
which element do you just go, okay, I'm going to automatically find a way to use this element? Or are you, or are you a real everyman who just, just uses the best element? I'm kind of all, but generally, I would say a death. That's interesting. So why didn't you go for the Pelicor Deceivers then? Mind you, um, Pelicor Bandit is a good card. It is a good so, card. You can use it in low mana. It's got that sneak yep. and he hits hard. He is a good card. Yeah. Yep. And that's why I got that card because it's so good because it's got a flying, it's got sneak, it's mm. three mana. Like, <clears throat> hits for four damage, right? At max? I think so. That is just yes. busted. And it's got um six a spe- speed, like, yeah, yeah. It, it's a complete package, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's a powerhouse on its own, really. Yep. How, how uh, is everyone else finding this uh, automatic advancement uh, playing out? And we've only got just just over a day left in the season. Um, I think there's going to be uh, a few people earning a lot less chests next season than, than they SPS, got this season. SPS is limited, let me tell you. Yeah. SPS is limited. That's all I can say. See, it got back up to th- uh, three cents again. Um, I don't know if it's, mm. if it's gone much further recently. But, um, yeah. After I spent all my getting getting here to Mexico um, at around about... 2.4 cents, I think. I, I averaged out with my SPS, and of course now it's up to three. So I'm basically starting again uh, with with my SPS. Yeah. I've already got like 2,000, like you know, starting from scratch. So getting there. I um yeah. I've done this season. I've decided to try my hand at modern, um, just to get away from some of the bots. Um, and so I've found I keep reaching for cards that aren't there anymore, the cube, that type of thing, that I'm just, ah, keep thinking up strategies and I could use and then I can't. Um, I found that my Captain Katie is really unsupported now because the cards that I have been using to support her, Silver Shield Sheriff, Lone Boatman, the other sort of snipers that I'll put either side of her, um, just a bit of repair to help really hack into those enemies at the snipe target. Um, so I picked up my first Rebellion card and I maxed him in gold foil, the Thanalorian Archer, uh, and he's a magic snipe as well, but he's got the Outlook ability, so he can uh, look out. Yeah, Outlook. Um, look out. Look out. Where um, he'll, he'll minimise damage to, to cards either side of him from sneak and opportunity. And is that once or <laughs> is that ongoing? Is that for, how, for however long that card is situated on the field? Whoever long is there, the adjacent cards take reduced damage. From, and so he's all, really good. from all the types of damage? Sneak, yes, all types, as long as it's a sneak, sniper, and opportunity attack. Okay. Wow. So that's keeping Captain Katie alive longer. I don't know if I've mentioned Captain Katie, Katie the crush I have on her to you, Killer Dragon, yeah. but <laughs> I'm a mad nut for Captain Katie, and she's out there all unsupported in modern. So this guy's yeah. really good with Daniel Lorian Archer, really good support for her. And I picked him up. I don't remember what I paid, but it wasn't too bad. It acts like a shield, like the actual ability shield, but for range, sneak, and snipe. That's um, right. And opportunity. 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 My yeah. bad. He does a bit. Yeah. Of, he does a bit of damage. Does a bit of magic damage, but not enough to steal a lot of our kills. Just yeah. enough to rip off some divine shield or a bit of void armor. Like he's he's not yeah. like a massive. Not that I I wouldn't turn down more magic damage. But he does other things instead, and he just does that little bit of magic damage just to prime them. So when she comes along, support. she's more likely to finish him off. Yeah. Support card, Triggered yeah. Interesting, though, huh? You maxed your first yeah. Rebellion gold for... I haven't even maxed anything in Rebellion. Like, <laughs> the same. That's, that's going to be a while away. Like, I'm waiting till Rebellion gets phased out of Modern. Like, that's my idea on how long I'm waiting to get Rebellion at the at least the levels that I care to get them at. Have yeah. you uh, bought... Each week we, we talk to you, Gio, you've, you've bought a few more Rebellion cards. Have, have you bought packs, any more? Packs, packs. Um, packs. No, I, no, I haven't bought packs in maybe a couple of weeks. 
I'm just sort of uh, just trying to save up the uh, reserves a little bit, and then I'll um, I'll buy a few packs. Yeah, but no, I haven't touched them in a while. Um, so what moves are we all doing at the moment? Like I'm sort of just sitting, uh, still um, eyeing off the changes that we've had um, with the bump ups of leagues um, and um, yeah and all that. And yeah, the and that's when I noticed like the SPS limitations that a lot of us uh, do have for old accounts especially that were meant to stay and be capped at a certain league but now are unhinged and going in all sorts of leagues in in wild at least um i know modern i hear is very difficult actually people are promoting wild for the people who have the weaker decks because there's more match liquidity there to match up with people with the same sort of deck types but in modern everyone's like maxed out maxed out you know like all the league ranges you know like (laughs) yeah well at least yeah. eventually that uh, I was going to say, no, it doesn't make any sense. I was going to say at least eventually they'll be all in champion and they'll be out of our way. But no, because I'm in champion now as well with my um, yeah. inadequate deck. I mean, I've, I've uh-huh. got most of the, the Chaos Legion core uh, summoners maxed. Yeah. The only thing I haven't maxed so far is Lily. Um, so maybe that, actually that should be the next priority. I need to max Lily, um, but all all of the other core Chaos Legion are maxed for the summoners, and I'm thinking of maybe Desip because my my bronze accounts are even one of them's in silver. Um, yeah. So I'm thinking of maybe just ditching my bronze accounts and just seeing how many cards um, I, I can level up in my silver account and then yeah. there might even be a couple that I could level up in gold. So I'd just be playing with the two accounts, which I think was Matt's plan all along. Like yeah. that's what he was trying to do. Yeah. Um, and then anything that's left over after that, I'll put into rentals. Rentals are certainly, I was seeing them. I was, because I decimated my rental account to create my bronze accounts, uh, I was making 10 deck a day now I'm making 30 deck a day. It's not a lot of money, but it's triple. So yeah. you know, someone that yeah. does have good rental accounts, they're now making triple uh, off their rental accounts than we sure. were a couple of months ago. So that's another positive as well. So yeah, I mean, I'm a little bit, uh, I wouldn't say salty, I'm just my own fault that with the, uh, the automatic advancement, but it, it's ticking all the boxes. It's definitely achieved yeah. everything that Matt had in mind when he put those things. So it was a well done good smart decision and not everyone's uh, going to like it right like there's well, going to be people who hate it that's the same I, I, like, I say i, I don't like, like it, it. Because, I, yeah. yeah i like it but just yeah, yeah i'm just i'm at the wrong end of the receiving scale for that at the moment but, yeah. but you sort of like it a little bit more because you do have maxed cards maybe you don't have the svs at the moment but the cards are there you know mm. but uh for people who are on the opposite end i think they're i think they're feeling it you know the one especially in in um not in wild like they go to wild i think they'll be okay but then they're just versing bots anyway so i don't know man i think they're in a rock in a hard place i don't know i don't know f-u-c-m yeah (laughs) it's not an acronym matt we covered this on a off screen on a previous episode i think it was eddie murphy actually the first time i came across that i'm pretty sure it's eddie murphy f-u-c-m yeah well so what else for me for me, I've been um, uh, I've been stuck on 975,000 GLX for ages since the airdrop finished, yeah. uh, and so we got the colony drop. So now I got 975,000 colony, and then yesterday, day before it went live, Aggie posted that you can now buy and sell on Tribal Decks the colony, uh, and so of course everybody went and dumped, dump, uh, dump, their, dump. Their, Colony, and I was able to pick up the twenty-five thousand that I needed to hit the million um, for really pennies. Uh, so I was really happy with that. Prices rebounded a little bit from that sort of from that low from that bottom. So we'll see what happens with Arcade Colony, but uh, yeah, I, I pretty much caught the bottom and filled my bags that extra twenty-five k I needed. And now I'm just it's just delicious. It's just a round number, right? Unit bias. You just want to have that straight up million. So um, excited and enthused about that. Santa Laurie and Archer. Uh, otherwise just been buying Chaos Legion packs. I've been following the discussions around, uh, there's a new proposal up, uh, which seems to be passing the pre-proposal stage. Um, 
regarding another taking another crack at a listing on a centralized exchange, Coinbase, Binance, and the like. Yeah, that's been yeah. the talk in Discord and on Twitter. Seems like there's two pretty separate pretty camps. Up. Yeah, um, I find myself leaning personally away from centralized exchanges, Same. and I think that it's Dexes of the future, and let's just embrace that rather than throwing a big bag of money at these centralized monoliths and saying, uh, "Please list us." Yeah. For for a while, like there's no, yeah. you know, unless we got yeah. it locked on, that we would definitely be listed for five years or any anyway. And then what are we? We're not giving them money; we're giving them SPS, which they Tokens. then dump, yeah, bottoming out the price. Yeah. Any anyway, there there are a lot of people that are adamantly for it, and I don't claim to know enough about markets to really have a i'm not you know this is just my thoughts yeah. mm. so i'm kind of uh my, i basically said i'm gonna abstain unless yabba votes for it yeah if yabba votes for it then it gets all really I, I think it's definitely one of those situations where i'll defer to his wisdom and understanding um yeah so but that's it's been interesting to see that heating up again uh mm. cryptomancer posted it but it was some anonymous somebody didn't want to be identified actually paid the hundred thousand dec to get the, you know, the listing fee for the uh, for the proposal so we'll see how that goes but it looks like it is going to go to a vote and i wouldn't be surprised to see you'd, you'd be amazed when it's real contested like this you'd be amazed what that does for the sps price right mm. because if it's close every man and his dog who feels passionately they're going to look for whatever they can they're going to move they along more. actually Yep, and there'll be guys with you know full full bags of SPS who desperately want a, a centralized exchange listing. They've also got some Bitcoin over here. Maybe they're looking at it and thinking, when do I move? When do I call the like the local top for Bitcoin? Uh, well, I tell you what though, if I sold just a little bit, that gets me a lot of SPS, and I could even sway that vote and then unlock more value from my SPS because of the centralized exchange. So those things have uh, become part of the equation for a lot of people. And I think something like this brings a lot of value in to SPS because that's where it gets its value, right? Is being a governance token. If you want what you think to matter, then you need to have a lot of SPS. Yeah. I can't fault that. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it, it sounds pretty straightforward to me. So e either way we win. Um, so tell me, uh, Killer, what we've got you on, I want to take advantage of the opportunity, pick your brain. Um, yep. If you were to say um, the rule set is target practice and uh, say no magic, what would be your, say, 25 mana target practice, no magic? What would be your thinking? Where would you go with that? Ooh, let's have a look. Um, target practice, no mana. Um I mean, magic. Oh, no magic. Um, I would go with, I'd say the blue team. So I'd go per a Sibilus. Um, You don't need to work out all the maths. I'm just sort of, you know, yeah. what, what direction would you go? So you put maybe a martyr behind um, in, in maybe third position so that your second position would so see your second guy with reach. I love the, um, who is it? The, uh, come on, uh, Raider, the one that attacks twice. Always put her in second position for Persepolis. Oh, the um, a <laughs> Coastal Sentry. Yep. Yep. Coastal so Sentry is nuts. It's, yeah. Stick a martyr behind her in target practice, right? Is that sort of the way you go and kill her? Is that what you're thinking? Um, sort of, yeah. Um, I would put. Um, I don't know if it's completely twenty five mana here, but ish. gen, yeah, ish. So I'd put like um. Heart claw in the a front with oh no that's a it's death, death. yeah my bad um <laughs> whoops you love um, too much 
<laughs> yeah, he loved it. <laughs> So one card that I would, oh no, I can't use that bugger. <laughs> well, we could um, just battle. I mean, we could, we could, instead of we could just. Uh... It is it is quite hard to like uh, picture <clears throat> the battle and the rule set and the manner and like piece it together in your head. Sometimes it's yep. easy to have that visual representation in front of you. It sort of like flows easier. My favourite combination with Persibilis is to use Demon Shark up front and then Coastal Sentry behind. That double hit, boom, solid, boom. solid, like, yeah. yep. Yeah. And then River Hollandale somewhere to, uh, yes. to, to get to get that inspire and resurrection, I guess. Yeah, mm -hmm. that just yeah, it's yeah. deadly. Especially when Demon Shark gets on a good trample, oh, it's like boom, boom, and then Coastal Sentry behind him, boom, boom. It's yeah. like yeah, yeah. And then you put like a Wave Brute or something with like um, uh, what's that ability called? Uh, with Taunt at the back. So while, you know, your front are just doing all the work or your um, opportunities, we have like the Blunker, yeah. the Deep Lurker, you got uh, them trying to, you know, um, you got the taunts, right? So directing yeah. the attack away while your main in the front or wherever are really stacking on that damage and not getting do, attacked. Do taunts pull um, opportunity cards? Yeah. They do. Okay. Did they change it at some point? It didn't originally or... Have I just got my totally you know, confused here? I think you're right. I think I don't know. Have they always, Matt? No, I think I think it might have changed. I'm pretty confident that right now opportunity cards will be taunted by taunt. Yeah. I think the only the only ones that don't go for taunt are scattershot cards. Because mm -hmm. they're not really like, aiming. Yeah, they're just, just they're, firing. they're pissing in the wind. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't use Jassic at all if it wasn't for the, the speed and, and the piercing because uh, I'm not a fan of, of the scatter shot. But blast. That, the, the, the plus two, oh yeah, with, with blast. If blast you got some, set. Yeah, and there are some good fire cards with blast, so uh, yeah. that's a good point. Okay, yeah, that is a good point. And, and the fog that, one. That's one I really miss. Yeah, the fog of war. Yeah, because they they feel like they, you're going to attack them from the front to the back. Um, the, the one I really miss is Grenadier, because Earthquake, for a long time now, Yasik with Grenadier in there somewhere, because snare blasts, and so Grenadier is just scatter shotting all in the back row and just, just ripping the wings off everybody for three yeah. mana. It's an incredible setup, and then you got like Spark Pixies or something that's ridiculously hard to hit and also flies um it's a it's such a cool strategy and i can't use it anymore it's going to be in modern it's not fair. yeah and pity we can't um uh, put you to the test with the, the challenge feature in modern um and when we when we had yabber on the show he was like oh we've got to fix this we, we, we've got to put a modern feature into the challenge but yabber we're still waiting <laughs> Yeah. I, I guess, yeah, I guess in the grand scheme, like maybe it's just such a small thing, but for us, it's big, right? Since this is what we, we want more options to, to challenge people. So yeah, yep. I, I really want it. I really want it. Yeah. So we, um, I got my first, uh, I, and it was, it was a one pack special um, with Rift Watchers. I opened one Rift Watcher pack and I pulled this one, my first one. So oh, added, oh, nice. Yeah, I only opened one pack and it was it was like, yes. So Inevitable. I don't have a lot of Rift Watcher cards and those that I do, uh, like these are the Rift Watcher cards. So I've got level one legendaries. They're okay on gold. All of my other Rift Watcher cards are on my silver and bronze accounts because they're not high yeah. enough to play at gold. Um, yeah. Gold Kai is on land, of course. Um, but yeah, so there's there's some here that are, are suitable for gold, and you've got to have a bosun. It, it doesn't matter what level your bosun's at. He's with Reach and Reflection Shield. He's absolutely no, you, on, you've man. got to have him. You've got to have the bosun. 
Um, but yeah, I was stoked to, to get a, another legendary for my Rift Watcher collection. And you got the most, you got the last um, legendary of the set and the most scarce one, hence the price. You look at that for one BCX, man, people want 27, pretty much 26. Yeah. yeah. You know, so you, you literally got like probably the, the best one in terms of price anyway. Yeah. Well, I, th I remember when, when Kai first came out, I can't remember what he now gold foil. So he's still $94 like for a single BCX gold foil. Uh, I was super, super stoked when I pulled that. Um, yeah. It what, what has else? been your best pack. It's been your best pack opening, um, Riff. You know, for, for the amount of packs that you've opened, you've gotten the best luck, I think, out of Actually, across the board, I've got the best luck with my pa all of my pack openings are single packs. You know, I do yeah. like ten packs or five packs, and it's like meh. But across the board, all of my best pack openings have been when I've opened a single pack. Did, um, that's supposed to be rarer, like I always hear the opposite. Oh, you need to open, you know, packs in multiples are like. Well, 200 like Matt, right? Yeah. <laughs> to so really... That was my pack. So, yeah, I was, I was super stoked with that pack. Nice. Anyone had a nice pull from a, either a focus chest, a EOS, or, or we haven't had an EOS since the last episode. So, any pa pack openings? Have you sorted all your chaos cards yet, Matt? From the... Yeah, I went through the other day and I've maxed all the ones. I've pretty much maxed them all, I think, now. Um, so, uh, Killer, just for reference, I bought like 4,000 Chaos Legion packs. I went in really hard on yep. CL uh, early on. I've still got probably half of them left and I've been buying them real cheap on the secondhand market as well. Um, and so these handsome chaps have been just accruing their potions and I've just been sending them bog packs. We've done a few shows where we've opened like 1,400 packs or something. Uh, yep. And so they've just they've sent me back the uh, the cards. Well, I assume they've sent me back the cards. I haven't been checking. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it's, that's quite a, a yeah. thing, quite a thing to do. Like, especially with me now, I'm in Mexico. You know, you send me like a yeah. buttload of cards. <laughs> Here you go, Bob. Open these for me with your potions, and then send them back. Yeah, no worries. I'm in Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So I've, 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 uh, so I've had these piles of chaos legion cards just kind of really accumulating so a lot of them i can now max in gold i've done that uh so what i'm thinking is i'll i'll, I'll i keep saying i'm going to retire from battling and then i don't uh mostly because i want to keep going in the um in the guild brawls and, and keep getting the reward cards so i'm what i'm doing now is mostly focusing on like i said modern seeing how i go with that and then the the gold chaos legion i'll, I'll move them onto land as i max regular for will then I'll move my yep. gold. I'll max the gold foils and move them on the land where they're where they're extra uh, lucrative and, and beneficial. Because I think land is going to be my big thing going forward. Um, the the extra ten percent bump from from uh, using them in in battle is good. Like it's really good. But uh, I'd rather I'd rather just sort of focus on land. So that, I mean that's why I bought that Sandalorian Archer in gold is because I plan on using them a lot because <laughs> Captain KB is my go to. Uh, yep. But other cards uh, that I don't use as often, I'll just, just use regular foil and, and keep the gold on land. Any totem fragments for anyone in the last week? No. no. I've got one in ages. Yeah. Yeah, I just had like t two harvests in a row. I got my common, then I got my rare, but and then there's been nothing again since. So. Yeah. I, I did get a gold foil legendary yesterday um, in the soul bounce, two of them. But yeah, that's about it. I've got to... What was it? Red, uh, the red dude who attacks twice. Sorrel. Sorrel. Yeah. 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 Nice. You had any nice pulls recently, killer, out of chests or packs or anything like that? Um. When was it? Um. I think it was last week. I got in a diamond chest. Uh. I think it was like five thousand SPS. SPS? Nice. Yep. Uh, my biggest pull, and it was from a gold chest. I think I got two thousand four hundred, and wow. it was actually it was end of season because I remember I was recording it, and like I didn't it 
didn't quite gel at the time and I'm two cards ahead, two chests ahead. And I went back and was like, hang on, what, what, what? <laughs> <laughs> it was like, wow. So 5,000, that's nice. Yeah. Yes. yes. You know that's what, in the next, uh, in the next um, part of this video, because I think we're on a break soon, we've yeah. got to talk about when they're taking SPS out of chests soon. Or mm. eventually. We're yeah. not going to get rewarded with SPS like that anymore. Yeah. That'll be good for the market, but like, eh, it's going to hurt me because I yeah, spent, spent all my mind getting here. Yeah. Um, so uh, SPS disappearing out of chests. That's uh, like, when, when it, you know, you just, you just, something happens, you take it for granted, like, oh, this gravy train will just, you know, we'll milk <laughs> it as we go. And, and if something like this happens, it's obviously it's going to cause a lot of panic. Um, the only way to get SPS is going to be burning deck or buying it. It's definitely going to be good for the price. Um, what's what's everyone's thoughts on that? You won't be able to get SPS by burning deck. It goes the other way around. But um, the, the SPS will be removed from land um, as well. So th there'll be a lot of reduction there. It's funny because I remember Alpha Packs being one. You could win... For doing your daily quest, you could win alpha packs uh, way back in the day. So this is Before just a progression reward of, cards came out. Yeah. yeah. But this is just a progression of that where things that were available readily and easily are now becoming rarer and you'll get new stuff readily and easily. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm all for it. Uh, I think Matt's a, a brilliant uh, economy designer. So uh, if there's the way he wants to go, that's that's all well and good. I'm not sure how far off that is to you. Have we got timing? I'd like to know, Killer, too, um, what did you do with that 5K SPS? Have you, you're burning it for DEC, you're staking it. What's the what's the thought? So I'm going to burn that to then use to buy more cards. Excellent. Yeah. So actually at the moment, is it a good time to be burning SPS for deck or selling it and buying deck? What's the market favour at the moment? I actually don't know. Because I remember a while back, um, I did something similar and I went to burn my SPS for deck and actually got a pop-up box on the Splinterlands site and said, hey, you know, you'd, be, you'd be ripping yeah. yourself off if you do this. You should sell your SPS and... On the market. Yeah, buy some get deck. Get out of it. And that that's pretty good being you know coming from the site like that that's integrity letting you know letting you know that so yeah just check check the two together on and the flip side though because b swap on, is good for that you're just putting your yeah. two and yeah on the flip side though um just out of laziness i i, I haven't swapped sps in a long time and probably won't now <laughs> i mean i need all the sps that i can get but when i was doing it i didn't mind actually taking the bit of the loss just because how easy it was you know yeah. it's just it's just there i mean i don't want to send it the tribal decks or beast off and just I, I know it's not like impossible it's easy to do but like it's still extra steps you know yeah. instead Especially of just like B-Swap. Oh, swap, swap. B swap yeah. is so easy and one thing with B swap i noticed at the moment because it is a liquidity pool um mm. i mean you got your swap feature but the convert feature is a liquidity pool between hive and swap hive yeah. They're a little bit low on Hive at the moment because when I went to send some swap Hive to my Hive wallet, it couldn't actually match the amount I wanted to do. It was only a, a little bit. And recently I did the opposite. I sent Hive, I converted Hive to swap Hive to put onto tribal decks yeah. and I ended up with more swap Hive than Hive. Not a wow. lot more, but normally, like if you're using you know, the, the inbuilt feature of the wallet, if you're sending your Hive to swap, because of the fee, you're always going to have less swap Hive than Hive you sent just because yeah. of the fee. But yeah, yeah. if you're using B-Swap at the moment and you're sending Hive to swap Hive, you get more swap Hive than you actually had Hive. Cool. So that's a good deal. Cool. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we've just past the uh, one minute mark for end of focus. Shall we open our focus chests on the show? Let's do it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So um, 
let's, let's start with, uh, actually, Killer, do you have the facility to share screen? Are you on a, a PC or a mobile? A PC. Uh, okay, great. So I've enabled screen sharing. We'll do you first because you've got the champion tests uh, and then we'll go down to uh, us, us plebs who are earning diamond chests. Uh, is that right? So some people do prefer it the other way. <laughs> it, just, just you have to get through the plebs first, and then we build up to yeah, save the, the best part. to last. That's that's yeah. a marketing scam. But we're not marketing scammers here. We want to give our our viewers quality. Let's start straight off with the good stuff. Yep. <laughs> so, can you guys uh, uh, see my uh, a screen? No. no not at on. the moment. Not at the moment. Hang on. Let me. Oh, hang on. Uh... While he's finding that, I've got uh, I had five gold chests for modern. I'm still climbing. I'm telling myself I'm still trying to climb out of gold in in modern. So uh, I've just popped them open. Nothing really. Six possessed puppets, which I think will was what I need to max it out. And just yep. an Octavius. Ah, oh. oh, we see it now. Yep, nice. we see yep. your screen now. Yep. All right. All right. Let's climb. Good luck, Let's. Man. Of luck. Okay, so which one first? Middle, middle. <laughs> oh, yes. good call. Good call. <laughs> All right. Matt? Uh, left. Well, that's what Matt wants. Matt wants potions. <laughs> 60. Yeah, he's going to need those one day. So yeah. just keep, keep stacking your potions. Yeah, well, I've got a few. Hey, they're building up. Yeah, building up. Yeah, they're I've, building. I've noticed since I used mine on the last episode, they're growing quite unevenly. At yeah. least yours are sort of close. Um, mine are quite uneven. All right, so let's have a look at mine then. So we've got 13 chests. Um, Hey, one thing I've noticed, the whole time I've been here in Mexico, I have all sorts of trouble with the Splinterlands website. And I know I spoke to you about GS. I thought it was a server problem, but it's working fine for everyone else. I don't know if it's an ISP issue or what, but every, all the other websites work really well. It's only Splinterlands that's affected, and it's really strange. Have you so, tried I'll, another browser to do it on? Yeah, because uh, my other accounts are on Chrome. I have a separate Chrome account for each account. Okay. And it happens on all of them. So it's really strange. Right. It just sometimes I have to refresh six or seven times just for the, wow. the web page to load. It's really yeah, strange. It, it could just be region. I don't know. Yeah. I think, if anything, it's probably an ISP issue, maybe VPN or something. Don't know. All right, here we go. 30 diamond chests, potions, 10 puppets, an imperial knight, a barbarian, six more, bombers, fire crawlers, devil, potions, two SPS, woo! I need more pie watch devils to max, I don't have them. Okay. Uh, I wish I could oh. take a few, that's all I need is like three of them, two of them yep. or something. Well, that was nothing really special. All right. Up yeah, to you, Geo. All right. Uh, let's, let's share screen. Okay, let me do this. How's that? We got it? Yep. Yep. I did claim. I don't know if it's doing that glitchy yet. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Uh, resolution's pretty big. Is that maybe? Yeah, that's much better. Yeah. Because I'm on 1080p now, I don't yeah. need to. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't need to do that. All right. Well, let's just go left or right. All right. Oh, yeah. Give me that 1.4. This is... yeah, that's how we like it. That's how well, you we got like more it. S you got more SPS than I did. <laughs> hey, I'm 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 not mad. I mean, I, yeah, it is what it is. 
All right, and you got to get be getting champ tests for the next focus. Oh, so but yeah, I. but but <laughs> less. But think about this, because most of the time I will be in diamond, because I'm not in champ till the end of the season, right? Like yeah. actually battling in champ because of how uh, stiff the competition has gotten, even in wild. You know. Um, yeah. So now I am more so in diamonds, or oh, with the with the um, um, how how our accounts just go up right like now um they just go up into infinity however far you can get but I'm not reaching champ until the end of season yeah so I'm actually stunted because here I have champ chest and I'm actually battling in diamond which means less RP to to service those chests and to get mm. those chests yeah so yeah man. Well, me too, but except I'm in gold for the season. And next yeah. focus is going to be champ chests. So battling mm. in gold and getting champ chests, yeah. Um, be interesting to see how many I, I get. I'm probably going to get three or four maybe. Um, don't mm. know. We'll see. Yeah. Anyway, we'll um, see how it goes. I mean, this is just the first season. Yeah. Um, I've just gifted Killer an untamed pack. Killer, did you want to screen share and pop that open? <laughs> yeah. Get a cheers. Help with up there, and I figured, hey, let's uh, let's put him to good use. So get you started on your untamed journey. Oh, so sweet. See, I've got um, <laughs> six Gladius cases I can open too. Do it. Yep. There we go. <laughs> cool. Okay. Uh, I love the old animations. It's been too long. <laughs> I don't see it that often, if at all. Last all time right. I was TV. Yeah, just rip into him. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, yeah. Got a summoner. Well, I'm here. Him. I should possibly do that. Uh, of these too. Uh, 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 all right. Yeah. Man Mantoid is a really good card too. Um, I think I've got mine at level four. I'm not sure. <laughs> well, that was a bit ordinary. Yeah. yeah. A few red. Yeah. Got to be in it to win it, I guess. Yes. Yeah. yeah. True. All right. You got some Gladius uh, cases to open, Bob. To open. Tinderlock. Tinderlock's a nice card. Okay. Here we go. See what I mean about my potions? So 230 versus 350, they're growing quite mm, quite unevenly. Un un yeah. All right. Let's see uh, how many quarters I can pull out of this. Let's see how many uh, gold foil gladiators you can burn. I don't burn yeah, my gold foil gladiators, Joe. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't do it. I can't. Hey, I that's can't. another thing. That's another thing they're stopping soon too. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Uh, yeah. So they're not going to allow people to burn uh, Gladius cards for DC, which is right because that's busted. Like it's soul bound, and you're literally burning that for something that's of actual value. Uh, it makes no sense to me. Yeah. You know, it just, yeah. It should be stopped. It should be. Oh, here we go. We got one Cora. <laughs> two. I'm watching. I'm looking right, at the we've screen. Got that we've got two Coras. We've got two Coras. Here we go. Anyone want to put money down on the on the purples? Is it going to be a Gorth or a, oh my Gorth? <laughs> oh my Gorth! Yeah, two Gorth, man. All right, which ones can we burn? <laughs> Come on, give him a burner at least. Give it. Him... <laughs> oh, there's a Captain Cody for you, Matt. Hey. All right, so there we go. Okay, you need a gold foil, surely, you know, like uh, trap and goth. Okay, no uh, quarters. You know what? Two epics is 
Still two epics. Indeed, indeed. All right. So who's got something they uh, they want to share? Or uh, actually, one thing I wanted to ask with the because um, I've been so out of loop, I've been doing a lot of uh, hours online here working. Um, just yeah, I haven't had as much Discord time or uh, game time as I used to have back in Australia. Um, when you were talking about the airdrop for the arcade with the GLX, Moonpass, yeah, where is that? What do you need to do to get that? If, I yeah. mean, all of the GLS that I, I got before has stayed staked. I haven't touched it. Is there another step that you need to do or is something going to happen automatically? What's the process? Yeah, so Aggie posted uh, the other day in the Arcade Colony official announcements. Let's pull it up. Where you can now go and see your... Uh, just arcadecolony.com. So if you go to arcadecolony.com and then log in with VChain in the top right, uh, you can see your GLX, uh, your colony balance, which will be based on how much GLX you had staked uh, at the at the time of the airdrop. So for me, mine's still 975, and I've got that other 25k on Tribal Dex. I'm not even sure how to move it into or move it off Tribal Dex. To be honest, I've just kind of been waiting for updates. But yeah. ArcadeColony.com, yeah, and so you want to log in in the top right instead of the 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 one the main sort of focus one is is I think email address and all of that. But if you've got right. the key change, just straight to the top right and you're good to go. Oh. All right. So I'm now logged in with Keychain as Boba Fett. What do I need to do now? The thing is, your balance in the top right. So it all says zero. Yeah, mine says zero okay. too. That's interesting. Uh, Very strange. Go to yeah, words, okay. Or... There is another tool I'll get you to pull up. Uh, actually, I can just have a look. Uh, Geo, are you in uh, your GLX estate under Geotrix, is it? Uh, yes, it is. So, yes, yes. Hmm. Yeah, because when I clicked that link that you uh, sent to us to check, I did actually have, because I originally did sell um, some of the GLX, but I still had some left over. So, yeah, um, let me have a I look. Wonder, I wonder if you guys were under the minimum. It's 10,000 10, minimum GLX. Oh, is it? To get the... Uh, yeah. Airdrop, airdrop. That so makes sense. I thought it was S. I heard SPS from somewhere, or is that for something else? Yeah, so SPS will be the like the longer term airdrop will be based on staked SPS with a minimum of five k. But the initial, the, the initial GLX airdrop had a minimum of ten k staked GLX. Okay. And I've just yes. got both of yours, and neither of you have any balances, so yeah. I'm guessing you were under under the ten k. Uh, Absolutely, I know what was. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. So, what did you need ten k of the GLS or SPS? GLX was ten k, and five k SPS is what you need. So, you guys would be all right to get the colony drop for the uh, SPS, um, but um, not the um, yeah, not for holding GLX. So, with the you know how they the URL was changed. Um, for GLX, so basically, if I go to GLS, I can't actually see my balance anymore because they changed the URL. Um, yeah, there was that... always two. It was, it was a little bit confusing. There was always two. If you go to genesisleaguesports.com, you can log in and see your GLX balance there. Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I've only got 5.9K GLX. Yeah. All right. Under the threshold. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah, right. actually, this is saying that I have no GLX either, I think. Oh, no, there it is. Yeah. It shows two, zero, two different different URLs different URLs now, because the original one doesn't doesn't show your, your, your staking anymore. 
Yeah, yeah I think Abby's mentioned he's going to he's working on pulling everything into just one site that you can click around on rather than having to know all these different URLs. Yeah. Um, did you want to maybe do you want to while we got killer here? Did you want to maybe get get some challenges going? I don't know how much longer we have. We've only got fifteen minutes left. Um, we've got uh, thirty uh, nineteen minutes left. Yep. Okay. Man, it goes quick. We have a challenge, mate. If you want to share a screen, and we'll we'll get the party started. Sure. But don't Do you want me share, to don't share your screen until after you've submitted your team. Otherwise, Matt will be looking. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> won't. <laughs> Killer, do we include gladiators when we're challenging you? Do you have gladiators or not? Yes. All right. Let's do it then. Let's go. Captain Katie incoming. <laughs> now, I haven't seen the rule set in yet, so we'll have to, have to see. I still have two more Katie's to go, though. Two more before I get immunity on her. Immunity. You see, uh, Yatik maxed out all of his uh, Gladiator cards. All of them? Who? Pretty confident he's Yasek W. He posted uh, on Twitter the other day that he's actually maxed out all his Gladiator cards. I'm guessing he's how? the first one to do it. How? <laughs> High level brawling from the start. Getting yeah. lucky, just smashing the merits. I don't know. He's, I mean, this is Yasek, right? Like top tier guild. Um, yeah. heaps of merits. Yeah. Yeah. The guy's a machine. I've done Captain, really well in two two Captain alpha Katie, tournaments. In my life. Captain Katie. Captain doesn't get immunity, Matt. Sorry to disappoint. No, sorry. I meant Flora. I got two uh, more Flora's to go before she gets immunity. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, two, two alpha tournaments I'm most proud of. Uh, there was a time that I came first in an alpha tournament, and there was another one where I came like fifth or sixth or something, but I beat Yasek in both rounds, and I think I'm more proud of the one where I beat Yasek in both rounds. And both times it was just like coin toss, like we each played just the optimal team, and but yeah. I'm going I'm to I'm take it, right? I've got to take it. Yeah, I've got to take indeed. It I'm still... You killer? Pardon? You accepting my challenge? I haven't got a a, a yet. I you sent it. Received the challenge. Not popping up in the top right. No. Did you spell oh. it right? Yeah, Killer Dragon Twenty Four. Try again. It's a common issue sometimes. Uh, that it's real common. I did have Where... the challenge with them open for a long time, like we were chatting about other stuff. Yeah. Yep. And then I just dropped his name in. So there we go. Got it this time. Okay. Oh. So we have ranged only, no armor, silence summoners, 19 mana, and everything's available except water and dragon. So no quicks. Not that oh. it matters. Because, well, it's yeah. going to be Ilfane. Ilfane inbound. Yeah, if you've got him. You've got him, don't you? Well, we, we already know that Killer's got him maxed. <laughs> so you're going to be uh, shooting at yourself here, Matt. Oh, no. The feet. Each toe has been shot. <laughs> well, it's silent summoners, though, so it doesn't oh, really matter. Silent summoners. Oh, that's good. Drift off. <laughs> <laughs> so PJ inbound from Matt. Killer, mm. beware. No, no, no dragon. dragon. Oh, no dragon. Wow, the, the, the best options there for that rule set are both. Yeah. He's going to go Earth then. Fernhart, close range. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Fernhart is. Oh, no, Silent Summoners, man. Oh. Yeah. Mm. So it's going to have to be fire with the Lava Launcher and crew. You know what? That That is solid. How, how much mana, sorry? 19. 19. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not enough so mana. So, so Killer, you feel, feel free to share your screen at any point so everyone can watch me beat you. I, yeah, well, I, think, I possibly will lose. Uh, I think a Marta up front with um, Lava Launcher is probably the best use of, of that mana. And then just something else in the back for... Yeah. What's it, one of those arches is like two mana or, or something. Yeah. Um, so 
you can go like thin um, and low mana, but a lot of them, or you could go like um, that guy, I forgot his name, uh, the last stand dude that we spoke about, Tinderlock, Tinder and just put like a, a three um, uh, in, in front of him to get the martyr, you know, or something, you know, a few other cards in front, whatever. All right. So it's pretty low. I hate low um, yeah, mana. Don't forget oh, she's screen yeah. killer. So we can ah. ha have a look at the lineup. Yep. Uh, give me a minute. Oh, good. <laughs> We're keeping you up, Gio. <laughs> this is where you, if you do eventually end up getting to beta cards, this is where you'll be loving the Cyclops, right? He is such a good, strong tank to go oh. in first position. Um, in these in these battles, because he's got shield. Yep. So I think yeah, I'm going to win this Yeah, well, you've got blast as well. Yeah. yeah, well, that's just taking out your your uh, martyr card, which is kind of doing you probably helping you really, because that martyr card is not doing any damage to Cyclops. The only one who's hurting oh. Cyclops is your rat at the back. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. His, his once gonna... once your oh. martyr's taken <laughs> out, then he's not going to get yeah. a go. Yeah. Marta, you should have put your yeah, Marta up front with that one. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh. With the, um, Ava with the up close and personal. Yeah, it's going to hurt. I still think I'm going right. to win, but. All right. All right. Come yeah. on, Gio. Take him, take him down, Gio. Oh, actually, let's, let's uh, yeah, kill us the guest. We... Let's all play exactly. killer. Yeah. How about you go next, Will? Okay. All right. I'll be lucky last. I'll be like the, the final challenger. All right. <laughs> All right, challenge sent. Yep. All right. Silent Summon is a Silence. Ah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, we've got thorns, no legendaries. We have oh. water, death, dragon, and 51 mana. I mean, that's a lot of mana. But... <laughs> hmm. Legendaries, Silent Summoners, 51 mana. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've got the... I think I've got one. He's got it. Oh, I think I already know. <laughs> I think I already know. Oh, I can't play it, bugger. <laughs> oh. All right, let's go to plan, plan B. Plan B. Uh... Plan B for blue, I suppose. I'm already on plan B because I actually loaded up with a bunch of like melee um, opportunists and I realised I oh, shit thorns so I'm running out of time oh, here trying to thorns. rethink my team yeah oh man oh oh nah, nah that, that just nah that just changed everything <laughs> that, yeah it, it, if I was on the same time as you I'd be on like what 30 seconds <laughs> 23 <laughs> yeah <laughs> Oh no. Okay. Life it is. Life it is. There you go. Grab your right. Corsair Boson. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> you Captain Katie, your All right, uh, submitted with four seconds on the clock. <laughs> yeah. Hey, oh, blue.
Oh, I miss you, Cube. He's going blues. All right. All right, so Cube's going to get stuns poisoned. Oh, he's... he's oh, got... no. Yeah. Uraeus is going to take out my martyr, which is going to give Edith some oomph. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got this. I don't know. Hey, dude, if he just stuns this crap out of you and uh, poisons you from the back and... Uh, what's that card on the right? The dark one? Um, nah. Snipe. Magic Necrosis. Yeah. yeah. If he just... I don't know, man. I feel like if he gets that off, if that if he gets that going, it could be good. All right. I kind but of that's a... Bob spreading... I think I feel like Bob's spreading his attacks too thin. Like he's got a bit of sneak and a bit of snipe and like not really focused that firepower anywhere. Are you talking about... No, nah, I think you're looking at the wrong one. Yeah, the wrong way around. Some, some blast. I'm in the bottom. Oh, you're oh, sorry. It's, my screen's a little bit too small to see who. So yeah. sorry. Yeah, killer. Killer. I think is. I think you're you're spread too thin with the snipe uh, damage and then sneak damage, and then going forward, it's you know what I mean. Like you kind yep. of want to focus on one particular. So I'm. I reckon I'll give it to Bob, but uh, I could easily be wrong here. All right. Let's, Let's find out. Yeah. See. Wow, no no negative effects at all. No poison, no stun yet. Stun. Oh, yeah, yeah, stun. just just as you said it. <laughs> nah, but still, like I was expecting more, you know, like oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Edith's no. got bloodlust now as well as Marta. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's such oh. a beast. Yeah. Oh no! Bloodlust oh. again. Look at look at Edith go. Oh, look at no. her go. <laughs> Just too tanky. Just oh, too good tanky. game. Good game. All right. That cube. Yeah. That yeah. cube. Yeah. Yep. All right, Geo. All right, so I will send to Killer J Dragon. Killer. 24. Dragon 24. Yes. Uh, diamond, all cards, glads included. Send. Yep. Got it. Cool. All right. 20, oh. 20 mana, um, Rise of the Commons, Silent Summoners, that seems to be a theme, and Thorns. Wow. Every match, silent summoners. I'm I'm fine. <laughs> I haven't felt better. <laughs> uh, uh, this is this is excellent. I mean, I thrive in these conditions. <laughs> oh man. Okie dokie. Um. Hmm. This, this episode brought to you by Silent Summoners. <laughs> Essentially. Not happy, Jan. It's a reference to an ad uh, for the non-Australian audiences. Yes. It, it, it's still, still like people quote it to this day. It's lived yeah. on. How old is that ad? Must be 20 years. Yeah, 2003, yeah. four or something. Yeah. And people still use it today. Not happy, Jan. <laughs> so for the viewers, Jan is this person working in the office who forgot to 
put the company's advert into the yellow pages. And so they're all sitting around looking at the phones, just sitting there. It's not ringing or anything. And I'm like, not happy, Jan. <laughs> yellow pages, like, yep. who even has that nowadays anyway? <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're around. Yeah. It's like street directories. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I can't see the actual battle at the moment because it's just, you know, it pauses sometimes and you don't see the cards line up. Yep. So okay. Just re I'm, refresh and then share. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm happy. Um, I don't mind who shares. I'm quite happy to share if you don't want. Yeah. I'll do it. All right. Alrighty. Yeesh. Captain Katie. Mm -hmm. Oh, God bless her. Our thorns God again. This, this is the exact same rules. I oh, know before we had no legendaries. This one's Rise of the Commons. Oh, we got but three Silent minutes. Summoners and Thorns. Yep. I should play it anyway. Look, um, yep. best of luck, man. Uh, I hope you get this win killer. Let's yep. put it like that. Hey, Geo, do you know the secret oh, to nice. being able to play a gold foil Captain Cody? No. Not burning a gold foil Captain Cody? <laughs> I <laughs> know, oh, I've got I've got one at level four. Four, uh, four, oh, four I think, yeah. I thought you burned all your gold foil, Gladius. Yeah, I did, oh. and it's good. I've I've got a DC DC for it. Because I've got all the regular foils on higher. Oh. Bosun. Bosun. I'm Bosun. telling you, man. Yeah. Bosun, man. It's yeah. all you need. <laughs> yeah, Bosun's broken. It's a great card. And at level five, one, two, three, four, five, it has um uh, he, uh, not heal, cleanse, cleanse. So all those effects you got me with like stun or whatever, I mean, not that it attacks, but it's gone. So <laughs> yeah, mine is actually only level four because of like no rift watches have been, but yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to do that right level now. Five. I'm going to get, so into, if you... get my basin because I use him all the time. Yeah. So Put, I've got about yeah, so... 20k deck, I think. <sighs> Is that going to be enough to get me to from level four to level five with the bosun? I think so. Yeah. 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 Well, even if I have to take some from my, because I've got a level one on my yeah. each bronze account and maybe even level one on my silver. Like, but that's what I'm going to behind, do. Him behind Uriel is nice too. Yeah. You know, even in thorns because Uriel recharges. You're not getting damaged too much, and you just get all the support cards behind, like healing them. Um, yeah. Uh, repair and cleanse on you know bosun and no no like refle um no reflect damage or no splash damage whatever you call it yeah and if it's thorns they're not expecting melee from you that's the other thing exactly exactly yeah yeah, yeah. and what's the water True. card as well that has um reflection shield tide biter yeah tide biter what you a card use him because he's got reach and um Reflection shield, yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. Wait, Pronda is life and water, right? That life new card that split summon and... up? I'm not sure. It's life, yeah, definitely. It is. I can't remember the other suit. Yeah, yeah. it's life anyway, and water. Anyway, almost yeah. out of time. Anyway. Killer, thanks for coming on the show. Yes, man. Um, yep. Been been great to talk to you. And uh, we will see you next week in episode 115. On yep. Fett. Peace out. See you, lads.